Hey there, Mimi Chan, registered dietitian, certified diabetes educator, and I welcome you back to Get Blood Sugars Under Control in 7 Days. Today is day 5. You're past that halfway mark and you're rolling along very nicely because quality is not an act. It is definitely a habit. It's a habit that you've been building all this entire time and you continue to build. Believe it or not, you are a sum of all your actions. You have been great these past four days. Days five is here and you're ready to start today with great eating habits. Now, of course, this is something that's different from what you've been doing this entire time up until this week. Your body's experiencing the change and it might be telling you, oh, no, it's not feeling the same. I want to go back. But don't be tempted to go back to old ways. Keep on pushing forward. At the end of today, you'll be so much further than when you first started. So are you ready? As with each day, clear your mind. You're going to be taking a deep breath. You're not going to have any more excuses for yourself because you've been feeling great. You've been doing great. So we're off on this journey again. Refresh yourself by looking at the layers of living success and continue to build on all those tips that you've learned on in the last four days. You've been so used to using the layers. How about let's just explore about how to use those layers. Number one is make sure that you're always using that same nine inch plate. If you want to try to take a look into your cupboard and see if maybe you can compare that plate to some of the other plates that you have. That way, no matter which plate that you're going to use, you're always going to still eat for success. Number two is always remember the mantra of fist, palm, thumb. If it's still not that natural to you, continue doing those gestures of fist, look at your palm, and look at your thumb. By the end of continually doing this, you're going to build up this habit, you're going to build up this uh, natural mindset, and it's just going to come naturally to you. Using the method of fist, palm, thumb, you want to have an idea not to restrict yourself, not to starve your body. Your body is needing certain type of nutrients and it needs certain type of fuel to function. And so that's why these tips are going to help you a little bit more with your success at least a fist size of layer one, at least a palm size of layer two, at least a thumb size of layer three, and at most half a fist size of layer four. Now, is it impossible to have more of layer one? No, it's unlimited. It's the best part. You can pick two, three, even four different type of foods from layer one and still be fine, especially since it's going to give you a lot more taste and texture. Now, same thing with layer two and layer three. Can you have more of it? Yes. If it's two palm size, that's going to make you feel better. Or if it's going to be two thumb sizes of layer three, that's going to give the meal a little bit more flavor, do it. Keep in mind that it's just not unlimited. And that's all there is. Number four, the meal should make sense to you. Just because I like broccoli doesn't mean that you like broccoli. Or just because I like the sense of putting a little bit of red pepper onto some of my foods, you might not like spicy. So these foods that you're creating are supposed to appeal to your taste buds, to your own taste. If you find certain combinations that you're doing doesn't work for you, then at least you know what not to do. And if you found certain type of combinations that you can do ahead of time or even flavors that you love, hey, then you already are building your routine right in there. And always last but not least is unsweetened beverages at every single meal. Hydration is key during this week. Your body is going through a change of this getting rid of major, major carbs. And so, you know, uh, during this time of how your body is changing the way that it's functioning, it needs that hydration. So you want to make sure you're drinking unsweetened beverages at every single meal and maybe even in between just to hydrate. Just as a reminder, this is what the plate kind of looks like after you put all the layers together. As with every single day, I always help you out with a couple of tips on how it's going to be beneficial for you to plan out these meals. Now, layer two and three, when you pick those out, you have an entree, and that way, layer one and layer four, it's going to be easier to kind of pair with it. Seasoning, again, is up to you. Everyone's a little bit different, so I leave that into your own creativity and also to what is considered your favorite type of taste. Drink plenty of sweet unsweetened beverages at this um, week, and, and that's because of the reason that you need to stay hydrated. 
Now, during this time, usually it doesn't happen to everyone, but I wanted to let you know that if it does seem to happen to you where you're feeling this foggy feeling of what they call carb withdrawal, certain things that you eat or certain things that you pick during this week is going to help you through this slump. So dark greens was one of them that seemed to help a lot of people because it's providing those nutrients for you, as well as choosing a small piece of fruit from the layer four section. That seems to be helping a lot of people get over that slump as well. And now, even if you do these two and a sugar craving hits, just do something you like. Don't look at the food aspect. Find a hobby, find something that you enjoy and do that if it's reading, if it's walking, if it is um, even going, you know, to uh, a go-kart range, whatever it is. This craving usually passes after half an hour. So after you participate in something that you like, you're fine. Now, continue to check your blood sugar. Know what your numbers are and know what to do when you have low numbers. As a reminder, if you're not sure what to do with no low numbers, check on day one's video. And in that case, you get to review on the 15, 15, 15 rule, as well as the symptoms and things that you want to watch out for. Now that we got into that, what can your day five look like? For breakfast, could be a little bit change on the usual of using regular olive oil or canola oil. Omelet with a little bit of flaxseed oil, tarragon, a little refreshness from the radishes and uh, mint flavor, as well as an orange and Earl Grey tea to end the meal. Now, after that refreshing breakfast, lunchtime, you can look forward to a little bit of uh, great omega-3s from uh, the salmon salad with dill, with a little richness from the Bernays sauce, um, uh, minestrone soup, brown rice, and ice water with lemon. Now for dinner, if you want to continue on that seafood trend, uh, you can look forward to a pan-seared flounder with chives, pan-roasted Brussels sprouts, a tomato soup, blueberries for a little bit of that refreshing feeling, and as well as a green tea to help you relax. Continue to check your blood sugars. You're going to love the way you feel, but you want to know exactly where you stand. So continue to check your blood sugars, and until tomorrow, I wish you happy eating.